Hey guys, and how's it going? Hey, I decided to make some shorter videos, maybe midweek videos that are of the oddball stuff I've collected uh, at yard sales from time to time. And this isn't the item that we're going to go do today, but it leads up to it. This is a little model airplane. I was at a townwide yard sale and this was free on the side of the road. And of course, you can't pass up something this cool for free. I'd say it's a model uh, scale airplane. I don't know what scale that is. That is roughly four feet long from prop to tail. Missing the wings. Still has the engine on it. And I don't know what it's got left. Looks like somebody plucked out wherever it had for electronics and controls and stuff on it. And left the rest be. But I thought it was cool. Anyway, while I was there at that yard sale, checking this thing out, or the free pile I should say, the guy was in his garage and he came over to you and said, you want to see, are, are you into cool stuff? I'm like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oddball stuff I think was the actual term and I said sure and uh, he said come this way to the garage and uh, he showed me up on the shelf was that thing right there I believe it is I don't know what the actual name for them are when you it pulls you under the water like your scuba diver or I don't know if you even for snorkeling it would pull you under the water and propel you and I said well, what do you want for that and I think we haggled back and forth a little bit and he ended up 40 bucks I don't know if you bought it for 90 bucks at a yard sale and uh, just never did anything with it and then sold it to me or if he was trying to sell it at a yard sale at some point. Don't know much about it. Uh, it's been sitting here for about, about two years. Let's go drag it downstairs, take a look at it and just see what it makes a tick. All right, I got it down on the bench, get a better look at what we got. I'm not sure if it's homemade or a factory made it. Kind of has somewhere in between the looks. Got a headlight in it. It has no Phillips screws in it that I see so far. Kind of shows its age. That one might be one. Yeah, I don't know if a manufacturer. There might be a name on it somewhere. Got cool little pinstriping on it. Ah, they got Phillips screws right there. My guess. I don't know, like early 70s? Just by the, the style of the pinstriping and everything. And the slight crudeness to, to the way it's made. All right, let's go pop that cover off. Let me go see what's inside it. Give you an idea. It's probably, I see it's about 36 inches long. Cover's got rubber on it. I don't know if it's. That's meant to keep it watertight. You would think it would have to hold a little bit of air, right? To keep, or else it'd be like a brick in the water. Maybe not. I see wood. We got inside here. Battery hookup. I don't know if it ran 212 volts or 26 volts. Looks like a bunch of hold down brackets at one time. Good thing they actually kind of took the batteries out. It probably would have corroded the crap out of it. I don't know, maybe it was watertight. That's probably where two power leads going in. That's a relay. I see more wires. That's probably the jumper wire for the battery to battery. What that is. Probably more of the same, yeah. There you go. Another one. Kind of looks like that motor looks like a uh, like an electric trolling motor. I mean, it would make sense, right? It does the same idea. Let's see if we can rotate it. And we'll get it in a second. Let's go for a throttle. Looks like just a yeah, just on off, no adjustment. No, how about on this side? Another metal. It's got two of them. Two different speeds. Maybe they're both dead men. You got to hit them both at the same time for it to go. Hmm. 
Yeah, let me uh, put you in the stand. We're gonna go flip her over on her belly, see if we can see anything on the on the uh, underside. Yeah, see what we get. Well, that's why I wouldn't flip over. Probably to help you keep you going straight in the water. So would you be wearing this with scuba gear? Would be my guess, right? It has a headlight. Kind of meant to pull you down under. Okay, it actually looks like the like the end of a trolling motor. They just took it off. Kind of clicks in the location. Yeah. Very stiff. Ding 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 ding. Clicks like a you know, like a clock hand movement. Most of the trolling motors I have don't do that. You would think they would have some kind of better protection if that's that's where your face is, right? <laughs> you're, you're holding on to it. So what's your arm's length? Your your face is literally like in a comfortable position. You're about five inches behind it. I'm sure you're you're meant to actually it's upside down to try to keep it. Yeah, you know, probably up around here in the water's supposed to probably shoot against your chest, maybe. I don't know. Never tried one. <laughs> All right, let's go flip it back over and uh, maybe go throw some power at it, see what it does. You know, I bet why it's got two switches, I would think one's maybe for the headlight. We're gonna find out. So I don't see any voltages written on anything. And I would think it would operate on 12. What did it say for, uh, did it give colors? Yeah, they're in parallel, so I'm gonna say 12. So red's hot, and that's supposed to be green, yeah. Green is ground. <laughs> smoke comes out. I have to go over to that. <laughs> All right. Let's go hit some switches, see what happens. Which one you want to do, the left or the right? Let's try the, try this one. Oh, that's the headlight. Yeah. All right, this one should give us juice. Maybe. Oh yeah. moves along pretty good. I don't even see him feeling any wind coming off of that. You think I'd have like a speed control, but I guess you just kind of hit it. You know, if you want to go somewhere, you hit it, you let off, hit it, let off. Not like it's direct drive. You kind of have the mush of the water. What a weird little setup. You need if you can find some name or something on it. They might have gotten painted over too. How about on the motor? Maybe on the stand too. That looks just like, that definitely looks like it's homemade. Yeah, I don't see a name on it anywhere. Hmm. It's the kind of thing you'd see like on a, <laughs> a 70s James Bond movie or like the monkeys or something from back then. I just thought it was cool looking. I, I just like the way it's made. I don't know. Now this is, of course, steel. That's probably a piece of wood. It's got something, maybe a fin or something went in there to guide it. Well, too bad it's 10 degrees out and the pond is two foot thick of ice. <laughs> I don't think we'd be able to see anything with it anyway because the pond is all mucky and dirty water. But I wouldn't mind trying it out at some point. What are you doing this summer? Again, what do you think? Um, little motorcycle batteries? Like, well, it's not much room that's in there. That's probably four. And they had them too deep. We'll go get a tape measure real quick. I see what we got. 
17. Actually, quite a even further that way yet. I'd say we'll call it because you got to be able to get them out. So 17 by four here over four, whatever batteries, and it's round on the bottom, so it'll be whatever this is by four. So four by four by 17, maybe call it 16. So eight four by four would be what the batteries are. I don't know what battery has a good like a deep cycle battery like on a trolling motor would use on that size maybe like an emergency backup uh lights for it can go into the spotlights over a door emergency exit exits and they get batteries in them maybe those well, that i could think of that's pretty neat i don't know how again well maybe watertight is not that important it looks like it would make a it would make a decent seal, but I don't see that being perfectly sealed all the way around, you know? Again, it's got to have a little bit of buoyancy to it. <laughs> you let go of the thing, it just... <laughs> the submarine's down to the end of it. I don't think you would tether yourself to it, right? Yeah, that's just like a piece of... It might be an old grip. Yeah, it's a grip. It just looks like it either fell apart or they, they made these switches up. On the side of it yeah kind of looks like a little bit of an afterthought hmm that's it guy. <laughs> your guess is good as mine if anybody has any information on these or knows anything about them or you know was it something that was in like you know popular magazine or uh, popular mechanics rather back in the day that you built it yourself you, you got me i'll uh, put it in the uh Comments down below. Links don't work very well. Uh, YouTube kind of kicks the links out and I got to go find them and, and put them back into the circulation part of it. But uh, yeah, if you know of anything or, or have seen anything before on these, my guess is somebody just did a really good job of trying to make it. Maybe somebody that was uh, into scuba diving and built their own. Because even the stand, you know, looking homemade like it is. I think of what it would be made out of. If it started out as like a, uh, a propane tank or you know, something along those lines. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> uh. Hey guys, well, that's that's all I got on this one. Again, we're going to try to keep it a little short. And uh, I have a bunch of stuff like this that I've uh, poked around and grabbed over the years. And, you know, thought of uh, doing actual functioning video in the water but just never got around to it so we're gonna go with it with this for now and possibly we'll try running it in the water in, in the future but for now that's it hi right, guys thanks for uh, hanging out doing a little quickie and uh, i'll see you soon till then later